Hi, I'm Nari Ansari, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about light renderer and how you can use it with other renderer, right? Like mesh renderer and a sprite renderer. So, without any further ado, let's begin. For doing that, let's just go to content drawer, right click, and in here, create a Niagara emitter. As you know, because we, for teaching purposes, always we start from empty emitter so you can understand everything better. So, click on empty, hit finish. I wanna call it N N E for Niagara emitter, and I wanna call it light. Okay, or whatever you want to call it. Double click on it to open it. Let's just dock it over here so you can see it. There is nothing right now here. It has an sprite renderer. And with that sprite renderer, we can add light, re uh, light renderer as well. So now we have a sprite renderer and light renderer as well. Okay, we have both of them. So for showing you the options for light renderer, let's just in here in emitter update, let's just add a spawner. Okay, click on this plus and choose a spawn rate. Okay, let's just put it at 50. Okay, and you can see it spawn over particles. And it has colors because we use light renderer, right? Without using emissive color. But you should know that you should use emissive color with light renderer. As a matter of fact, because we are using Lumen at default in Unreal Engine 5, maybe we don't need a light renderer because just using emissive color it has because of Lumen in Unreal Engine 5, right? But if you are in Unreal Engine 4, just use this light renderer and it will do a lot for you, okay? So next thing to do, let's just add a velocity, initial velocity. So click on this plus on spawn, add velocity, it give us an error, click on fix issue and it will add solve force and velocity for you automatically. If you don't know what I'm doing, all this velocity, spawn rate and all of that, you should know that there is a full playlist of videos about Niagara system and we go to we go through a sprite renderer, ribbon renderer and mesh renderer and now it's time to talk about light renderer. Just watch my videos on that playlist, okay? So in this add velocity, what I'm gonna do, I wanna change this linear to be in a cone, okay? And in this, we you can see it will add velocity like cone in here, right? It's look beautiful. I wanna randomize this speed to be randomized, like right? So click on this arrow in here and search for random range float, okay? And now you can give it a minimum and maximum value. So for example, let's just put 300 to 400. 500 okay and now you can see the velocity how it works so because we are using velocity mode in cone we have some option in here first of all the axis that we want to add velocity at this case i want to use z axis okay so put zero for x and put one for z direction and now you can see it will go up right with this cone angle you can change the angle of the velocity that will apply to this particle right so let's just change it to 45 again and I think that's look cool. Now let's just add a shape. So this, right now, the, all of this particle is spawning from just a point, okay? We want it to spawn from a sphere, for example. So let's just click in here on particle spawn and click on shape location or search for that. It's an a sphere. We want it to be in a sphere. Let's just decrease this value to 20, for example. And I think that's look cool. Next, let's just go to initialize particle. I want to change, randomize this lifetime, okay? Just click in here and say random range float. For example, two to three seconds is more than enough, okay? Let's just change the color. At default, it's on set. Change it, change it to direct set. And I want to use lumen with emissive color. So put something like this, this for green, but I want to overdrive the blue value. So for example, 50, okay? Now you can see it. it, it has emissive color and it will glow light, right? So this color is important. Now let's just add some gravity. Just search for gravity in here, gravity force in particle update. Let's just decrease this value right now because it's minus, they will go down. So let's just change it to minus 500. So I think that's a little bit better. If you click on this preview panel and hit F, you can see everything clearly now. Everything is cool, right? Next thing that I'm gonna show you is using drag, okay? Just search for drag, and drag is what is in real life, okay? Always there is drag in real life. So the speed of this particle now is more realistic. Always use drag if you wanna have realistic emitter and particles, right? Let's just go to gravity and decrease it a little bit more. I think that's cool. We have some drag, you can see it. Let's just decrease the, the drag to 0.5 and they will go higher now right so again let's just go to initialize particle change the life from uh, for example five to seven so you can see it clearly how they look like right so so now let's just create a system off of this right click on it and create niagara system 
and with that it creates a Niagara system that we can use on in our level so in our level let's just add a plane in here just go to shape add a plane hit F to go to that plane and let's just make it a little bit bigger like this okay and now let's just drag and drop our system in here i want to change the position of our niagara system save the niagara system and after that if you go here you can see it clearly it, it is working fine and i think we should decrease the size of this it's a lot right now or we can just increase the size of this plane let's just do that but because we we want this for tutorial purposes let's just show you how you can change the size as well at default this initialized particle for a sprite attribute in here a sprite size is on set but you can change it to random uniform for example and now you can see they are small let's just change that to 20 to 13 no i think that's better let's just save it and now you can see they are smaller so you can see in thumbnail of this video uh, the this particle collide with that plane we want to have that as well so for colliding with that plane what you can do in this particle update just cl click on this plus and search for collision okay i will talk about this collision a lot but right now just add it and save it you don't need to do anything about it i will create a video just for collision because it is important so now you can see how it affects our scene and our particle collide with this plane right it's beautiful right now you can't see color you can't see light on this plane so what is the problem if you go to light render you can see the radius scale of the light is one and if we increase that to 20 for example and you should add the color in here as well the color of our light okay one way to do it you can just put a value like 50 in here okay and save it and now if you go here you can see it has color and it affects our plane and you can see it so there is two options in here that i want to talk about one of them is for effect translucency so if you check this um the light will affect the opacity of our particle and this alpha scale bright brightness it will use the alpha of our color of our particle as intensity of our light. Next, this radius scale, It, if you hover over it, it tells you what it is, a factor used to scale each particle light radius. So if you increase this, the effect, effectiveness of this light will it will affect more distance okay it will glow in more distance so that was it guys for this video i hope you like this video please 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 if you want to help me hit that like button and subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching bye